Okay. So here's me again with level four project and elective on building a social media presence. The international convention. It's not just for the district leaders. That's what I wanted to tell everybody. This is my second one. And yes, it is, it's an expensive undertaking if you're not a district leader. But guess what? It was down the road. It was in Nashville in August. I've never been to Gator Opryland. So I went. It was just as amazing as my first one, which by coincidence, both times, Sheila, I have not seen the first two days. I've only seen the Friday and the Saturday. But still, it was an amazing experience to put on my shirt, to get my badges. I was actually fortunate enough that even though I came so late, somebody at that time was selling their president celebration dinner and somebody at registration literally gave me away her networking lunches. So remember that networking project we were talking about the other day? Here we are, now enhanced by social media. Oh, unless I forget, because I tried to be the VPPR, guess what I forgot? My batch. Of all the things that I could have forgotten, I forgot my batch, but that's okay. I was the one wearing the shirt that everybody liked. I don't know, I, I bought it at an online store, not any special places. So the project is about, is about social media presence. As many of you have heard before, I'm, I've been working on my, I have been, I have been working on my masters when I rejoined Voice of Independence. And it came out so smoothly to start talking to people like Daniel Rex, that's the guy that signs the DTMs and most every other thing out there. Kevin can tell you later who he is. Or uh, Matt Kinsey, who remember me in Colorado by saying, oh, you're the guy that was always there with a the camera. Coincidentally, Matt is our new international president. And coincidentally, District 47, where we're going to have the next conference, is where I started back in 2008. So all these beautiful, meaningful coincidences I love together. However, a fellow Toastmaster in this club was thinking of doing one of those famous HPL projects, and he won, he set up a watch party. And I thought, oh, that's clever. How can I help him there? And that's where I'm going to start sharing my screen. Uh, going to share just, hold on, i move the tab. Find my Zoom, the fun part. The funnest part is this is what I do for work. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm not gonna play the clip, I'm just gonna tell you about them. Okay, can you guys see the YouTube channel? Yes, okay. So if you were watching, I have this first one. I'm driving out. You know, early in the morning, and I just said, let me just, you know, I still have data. The sun is right behind me. Let me just start with a little bit yet. Then I know that John saw this one because I think he shared these five clips, uh, four clips at the beginning with you. That was me sitting down at the Gaylor uh, Opryland with the net first networking lunch. But then, because I knew that's one of the most exciting meetings, in my opinion, the second most exciting thing after the competition is going to the region um, event. I'm not a leader, but they let me in. And guess what? I knew a lot of people there from not only uh, this, uh, um, District 40, but from District 11. So I asked Karen Isaacs, many of you know her, she's truly a, a, a figure in District 40 and now throughout the region, if she could help me share her enthusiasm for the competition, and she did. Guess what? I asked the same thing of our current district director, and he really got into it. I mean, I, because he has competed. For those of you who think, well, is everything about leadership? No, competition. 
which I'll tell you a little bit later. Then he, I know he's been here with us doing Zooms, DTN Tracy Baker, same thing. He was there actually setting up the excitement that his wife, he was going to help her prepare for next year. You haven't seen this one, uh, or maybe you did. It's just 39 seconds right before that, right before the, the beginning of the, of the competition. So that's on YouTube. And where the project ties in is the fact that on my phone, I was able to not only take these guys to LinkedIn and share them from YouTube, because, you know, you, you want to choose one platform to, to uh, uh, store them at. But I also shared and find out that the hashtag is Toastmasters Storytellers 22. And uh, I started sharing from the whole uh, conference. This is what Sheila was talking about. It's on LinkedIn. It's out there. You, can, you guys can go take a look at it. And I'm at five minutes, so I have to get going. And then here's the, the, the semifinals. They were preparing for that. District 11, I bump into them right there. Again, you rekindle the friendships. I don't know what YouTube did with this thumbnail, but that's done. This is Karen. Again, you just repost right away. And I decided to put a picture of the hotel in the Bahamas. Uh, you grab, you know, little nuggets here and there. And I have one final uh, video to post because during the dinner, you actually get to take uh, pictures with the winner. His speech is already on YouTube. You guys can watch it. It's about being true to oneself. He did it from the, from the name, from the nomenclature of his life, rather poignant. I won't spoil it. And then finally, as to the social media presence, guess what? Most of these things on my phone, I was able to. Here's the one from uh, District 11. See, I, I was able to post them back. I posted a couple of things from work. So let me stop sharing. Six minutes 30. Yes, I have the app. It's a great idea to run it on your own. So in case the, the timer is going a little fast, he started timing me when I was doing my preparation. So I, I, I have a backup. So the point is, for those of you who want to get better at not only your public speaking, but you want to get into this content creation and eventually this thing they call influencing, think about pressing the record button. I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>